Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the one and only Silo Man coming from a launch control center of a former Atlas F ICBM site outside Roswell, New Mexico, USA. For the next 10 minutes, you're going to see some exterior photographs we're finishing up on the outside, so sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself. As you can see from this photograph, we're cleaning out in front some of the brush that we're cleaning out in front of the uh, water treatment facility along the access road from the highway. And it's not going it's not going too bad. It's so much easier to do it by hand. We do have the capabilities of a brush hog and obviously a tractor, but this makes it so much nicer, especially on the access road. You can see surrounding the site what we call the silo cap area itself. You'll notice this orange cone. Those were the original bases for what was called a tipsy antenna. There were very few of these sites uh, of our of the of the Roswell or the 579th Strategic Missile Squadron sites. There was only about four of them that had these tipsy antennas put in. You'll notice most of the Titan II sites have these and also the Minuteman sites. And you can see they're following around the access road. Probably next summer we'll start clearing some of the other areas a little farther away from the access road, but this will give you a little idea. We've got a terrible problem here with mesquite, so it takes a little time we go through and we just simply have to saw it out. We're approaching where the original gate was, the rolling gate, the automatic gate that uh, was controlled by the launch control crew on the lower level of the LCC. And again in the background there is the septic tank and distribution box with way way in the background would be the the drain field and to the right in the background was the uh, water treatment facility this was the pad for the fill and vent shaft where the trucks would come in and obviously offload the art the not the uh the liquid oxygen the uh, gaseous oxygen gaseous nitrogen Again, a little closer up of, of the uh, septic tank. Here's the drain field. And we're just simply cutting some mesquite at this point. It's not fun, but once we get it out, it's not too bad. I cleared the bulk of this about oh, 15 years ago, but as you can see, it's, this is how much it's grown back in 15 years. So it's really not too bad. See the old C channels are the small concrete squares of uh, concrete with a C on them and there's a cable down there. What you're looking at here is the uh, water treatment facility. And then way in the background and on the right hand side is the evaporation ponds and the two um, Quonset hut pads that are 40 feet wide and 100 feet long. We have two of them. There's a little over 13 acres that comes with this particular site. Most Atlas F sites, at least of the 579th in the Roswell area, are 600 feet square or 8.26 acres of the original 600 by 600 area. This one, given that it has the evaporation ponds, at that point is just bigger based on the amount of evaporation pond square footage that was needed. And you can see where the other side of uh, this access road, and we're coming back through just cleaning up this, this other side. Looking nice, looking nice. The indicator that you'll see a small, a small concrete piling that come up in the background. That's that's to indicate where the there's a four-inch water line that left site. This is site four. They went on to site five, and we delivered. We pump the water to site five from here. Looking at it, looking to the south from the other direction. Cleaning up real nice.
there in the background you'll see where the old gate has fallen and we'll be pulling that out of the way and I'm going to put in a new gate that's not so heavy. We simply just make piles of this brush and then bring in the, the big wheelbarrow that we'll bring in the truck and load it up and take it over to the pit where you're going to see in a little while. We'll stack it up and then at some point burn it. And there you see we're, we're stacking it up into the pit area. We'll be moving most of the steel out of there and we'll send it to the dump where they can recycle it. Got quite a bit of brush on this burn. And you can see some of the piles that we've made of this equipment. A lot of that has been used through the years and then other parts have just sat there so we're getting rid of some of it. That was the scaffolding that you used to see down in the lower level. We pulled it out because it's no longer needed. Looking to the west. You can see the water treatment facility. one of the bases for the blast detection. And there's the air exhaust shaft to the silo. On the opposite, 180 degrees opposite, that would be the air intake shaft for the silo. You'll see it there in the background. All those pipes that you see around the air intake and air exhaust, they are not uh, original to the sites. I put those in and the reason that I did was just to keep any vehicles from accidentally rolling into those areas. Another shot of the, the water treatment facility. And you'll see the two round areas, that's where storage tanks were kept. Above ground steel tanks. We may eventually go back to that, I'm not too sure though. Uh, there'll be steel. Uh, one of the things that I'm, I'm looking forward to putting in is going to be a the new water system where we're going to work a water collection system, a cistern, which should be a lot of fun putting together. Again, you're looking at the drain field. Down there where you see the salt cedar on the right is really the, is where the line comes out of the silo. And it was originally for the silo discharge line, so down in the very, very bottom uh, what we call the silo sump area. Um, that would be for any water that was down there that the sump pumps would pick up and take all the way to the surface over to a manhole where gravity took over. And then it would dump out there. And that's where ours are. This was one of the few sites of the original 12 out of Roswell that is naturally dry. So Sometimes we may want, we may see just a small amount of water, even though we're about 185 feet. Um, I've seen it when I was at military school here, and we used to play in this site and go all the way to the bottom. And in fact, the last two blast doors are at the very bottom of the silo. There used to be about six inches of water, and then the last time I was down there several years ago, there's really nothing. There's some old conduit on top. You can see what was one. Um, that was part of the old logic panel that used to be on level one of the silo. And it's some of the old flooring, flooring uh, steel. Uh, you'll notice in the background there in, the, in the, the far end of that photograph, you'll see two round pieces about 15, 20 feet long. Those are the air washers that were originally for site, for site uh, on level one. Well, thank you for watching. Please, if you haven't, subscribe. And uh, click that bell and thank you again. Hope you enjoyed yourself. Have a great day.